Vincent Malloy is now 20 years old. He is no longer polite and he doesn't do what he's told. For a young man, he's no longer nice. He has almost become Vincent Price. He no longer lives with his sister dog and cats. He now lives in a garret with spiders and bats. Here he can reflect upon the horrors he's invented, being alone in a dark room and tormented. Vincent was nice the last time his sound went to see him. just to hang her from his own garret's rail. He succeeded in turning his dog in a horrible zombie. But he didn't manage to search victims with Abercrombie. The zombie dog never more identified his master. He just wanted to eat his flesh and this would have been a disaster. He also kept a twittering red cardinal in a golden cage. But he didn't stand his chair and killed the bird in a raptus of rage. Vincent likes to draw windmills and read to pass the time. He would have even preferred to commit ghoulish crimes. His favorite author is still Edgar Allan Poe, though J.K. Rowling and Stephanie Meyer are the most known. His poor wife still buried the light for years, Useless to say Vincent spent a lot of tears. The love of his life lay in some grave he couldn't find. Wandering cemeteries like he was blind. Cries of despair every night and day Terrifying his neighbors, his sister disobeying. Who told him to stop pretending to be Christ and stop living with spiders, bats and mice?
Vincent also had boxes and cases where he jealously kept chocolates and candies. The only thing he loved besides his poor wife He ate one bar voraciously and felt just fine. Suddenly he fell limp and lifeless down on the floor. Looking at his sister on his room's door. Well done, my crazy prize. That bar was poisoned and you are supposed to die. Vincent said very softly and slow. A quote from The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor should be lifted. Never more.